Although regarded as the pioneer of modern law, ancient Rome was rife with corruption at every level of society. Today, this video will take a brief look at the life of Emperor Pertinax, whose fight against corruption in the Roman Empire ultimately cost him his life. Born in 126 AD in Liguria, Pertinax was the son of a former slave who had become wealthy in the wool trade. He initially pursued a career as a grammar teacher, but joined the military at 35. His education and financial resources enabled him to become a leader of a small Gaul legion in Syria. Thanks to his skill, he rapidly rose through the ranks, eventually becoming a tribune and fighting alongside the future emperor Marcus Aurelius. Pertinax became senator, consul, governor, and prefect of Rome in 189 AD. Following the assassination of Marcus Aurelius's son Commodus in 192 AD, the Roman Empire's throne became vacant, prompting turmoil in Rome. Since Commodus left no direct heirs, the Praetorian Guard was required to choose the next emperor. Following Commodus's death, the two conspirators in his murder, named Letus and Electus, offered the throne to Pertinax, who accepted it at once. He ensured the support of the Praetorian Guard with a generous bonus and was proclaimed emperor by the Senate. But his initial approval soon turned into shock and disgruntlement among some. Following the financial meltdown brought on by Commodus's eccentricities, Pertinax resolutely took over the throne. He swiftly reorganized the empire, displaying his humanity, integrity, and efficiency in imperial administration, according to historian Cassius Dio. Looking to rebuild the empire's finances and keep his promises of bonuses to the Praetorian Guard, Pertinax sold off unneeded property and assets acquired by Commodus. His stern approach and austerity measures, such as cutting state spending and tackling corruption, started to make him unpopular. He introduced a land reform, giving away tax-free, uncultivated land for 10 years. He also charged a palace official with embezzlement. While these initial measures were welcomed by the Roman people, he also curtailed the number of gladiatorial games, which made him even less popular. Such rapid changes made in just two months of rule alienated Pertinax from many, including provincial governors who had grown cautious about supporting any emperor after Commodus's excesses. Pertinax's reign was threatened due to his unpopular reforms. A murder conspiracy was uncovered while he was overseeing a grain shipment in Ostia, which resulted in the arrest and execution of the conspirators. But discontent with Pertinax grew among the Praetorian Guard, the Senate, and the people. 300 guards broke into the Imperial Palace in March 193 AD, and Pertinax and his Chamberlain Electus were killed. His 87-day rule ended in reproach and tragedy. His severed head was displayed in the streets of Rome, and the Empire descended into a period of civil war known as the Year of the Five Emperors, lasting four years. Views on Pertinax differ. Some see him as someone who attempted to authoritatively implement necessary reforms, while others consider him too harsh. What do you think of this emperor's measures? Share your opinion in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.